worry about money a lot. Not a lot of people worry about money, but a lot of people do worry about money. Money is the thing most people worry about. Relationships are the things that most people talk about. <laughs> Relationships are the things that really shape the fabric of how you love life. At the end of our lives, we won't measure our bank account. We definitely won't count how many people followed us on social media. I believe at the end of our lives, we're going to look at our lives and see how are our relationships. So the first thing in creating life changing relationships is clear expectations and not from a place of demand. Here's what I need. Here's what I expect. So I want you to not be confused by the word expectations because it's not as if you're going to make a demand. It's just, here's what friendship looks like to me. Tell me what it looks like to you and let's find a place in the middle that allows us to dance together. One of the things I know is that so often when we're in a partnership with someone, the, the thing that we think we love is for them to think like us. You're not looking to be in a relationship with your twin. You're in a relationship with someone who provides that, that balance, that harmony, that thing, that pull, that driver, that anchor. Being such a driver myself, uh, I've often said, oh my God, my relationship has to have the same drive as me. And then after having this drive for 25 years, oh my God, I don't want someone that has the same drive as me. I want him to have his own drive, his own unique thing. I don't want someone to be exactly like me. So I understand the need to have a partner that is, they're at least going in the same direction as you but they don't have to go at the same pace as you. You don't have to try to find a match, meaning I need you to match my mental mindset exactly how I think. A match is more of a compliment. I really understand that match doesn't mean think the way I think, act the way I act, and do what I do. No, that's a twinsy. A match is how do we find our differences and allow our differences to dance together. Now, to that same point, if you have dreams and aspirations, your partner should believe in you to do your dreams and aspirations. One of the things I would always do is expect someone to adopt my dream, adopt my intention. And the reality is that a, an individual in my life can have their own individual goals and intentions. They don't have to adopt mine. But what you do want is for them to celebrate yours for them to love you for what you have, to cheerlead you in your goals, in your intentions, but they don't have to have the same. <sighs> the words, the two words that I use, please use these as much as possible, are grace and ease. What brings grace and ease to the relationship? I realize that every time I wanted my partner to do me, meaning I want them to think like me and drive like me, Every time I wanted them to do me, they failed me. But every time I, I allowed them to do themselves and we find how we individually and collectively dance, it felt a whole lot better. And so don't force your partner to be you, do you, or think exactly like you because then you're simply trying to create a mirror and a mirror is not what you want. You want a relationship of dynamic differences and then of a beautiful dance together. Replace confrontation with carefrontation. So confrontation is an uncomfortable moment that needs to reconcile something that leaves everyone feeling grinded and, and, <laughs> and attacked in some cases. Uh, and you're wondering how, what the outcome is going to be. When you have a confrontation, you need to reconcile a situation, but you don't quite know what the outcome is going to be. Carefrontation, write this down really fast. Carefrontation is going into an uncomfortable moment and you sandwich the discomfort with intention. So the first thing you say is what I want to happen in this relation, in this conversation is that we can leave locked and loaded and on the same page. I value you and you go into three things that you value, love, admire, appreciate about the person. I value, what I value about you is the way that you, you know, you've been so committed to me. Uh, what I love about you is the way that you're attentive to our children. And what I appreciate about you is how hard you grind to provide for us, the family, whatever. So you sandwich the difficult conversation with words of affirmation that let them know that you truly see who they are. They're not packaged. They're not fake. They're real. 
You also say on the front part, here's what I want to do at the end of this conversation. I want us to be on the same page. I want us to find a solution. I want to be your ride or die. I want whatever that is, high intention. Then the challenge, you present the challenge is what would support me is, uh, what will work better for me is, no buts, what work support me, what will work better for me is, um, and I need your support in. And then at the end, you sound it again with, so I want to honor you for, I appreciate what I appreciate about you is like you go back to high road. So the sandwich of juicy, delicious, honest, authentic, real love sits on both sides of a challenging conversation. That's moving confrontation over to carefrontation. Mm -hmm.